Well, today I was um, thinking about an idea and um, I figured it out. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, why, if God is so awesome and so great, why does he let other people die? Well, I heard a story about that a time ago about a man named Frank. Well, Frank was a farmer and Frank, you know, needed to provide for his family. So he uh, decided to become a bus driver going up a hill to the destinations right next to his farm. So there was one day he had maybe 50 to 60 people inside of his bus and he's going down the hill right and then all of a sudden a soccer ball just passed by and here comes a kid what happened and there's no way to do anything about it but there was no time to stop so he went ahead and hit the young man, hit the young boy, I'm sorry, hit the young boy, killed him instantly, and keep on going down, still going down until he ended up all the way to the bottom. And a lot of these people were screaming and yelling, why you didn't stop, why you didn't do this, why you didn't do that? Because they were getting outside of the bus, and that was his uh, neighbor was right next to him. The bus driver's neighbor was outside and he overheard everything. And he ran up to him and he ran up to the people. You ungrateful people. Did you know that he killed his only son to, so, to make all of you live and survive? So that's why I tell everyone that God is grateful, God is just, is merciful, and He will save people for the will of God. And a couple of times, God takes people because of the will of God. It's all in His will. I don't know how much illustration should you you should get but I think this is the best illustration I can give you that God is merciful and just and even God repent chase the Lord Jesus Christ to give you and give you a brand new life a brand new creation so just repent and give yourself to God have a great day and God bless. And may the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and upon grace and mercy and all you all. Amen.